Mary, your cheerleader of dreams. I love vision boards. You know, I see them all over the place now in stores, in my friends' homes. Every one of my team members has a vision board in their office. And we have a giant vision board in the hallway. Well, why am I so passionate about them? Because it's a principle, a simple one from God's word that reveals you become what you behold. In fact, I want to help you this week get laser focused on your new goals for 2021. That's why I'm giving away my book all about how to make vision boards. So stay tuned till the end and I'm going to show you how to access this free book. And hey, real quick, you've probably heard me say that we're trying to get the message out to YouTube that there is a demand for Christian motivation on this platform. So if you'll subscribe, in fact, here's your reminder (laughs) in the subscribe below. So think about it. It may seem insignificant to push that little red button, but it's not. It really helps us send a positive message to YouTube. So thank you so much for doing that. Okay, (laughs) back to vision boards. For example, I've made vision boards for all kinds of things. You know, I remember writing on my vision board that I wanted to get my books translated into German. Now, I listed out several languages and German was one of them. I don't even know anyone in Germany. I'd never been to that country, but I just put it on my vision board. Do you think it's a coincidence that about seven months later, we get an email from an organization inviting me to come speak at a conference in Stuttgart, Germany? And that's not all. The email said, and by the way, there's a lady from the biggest Christian publishing house who wants to meet Terry to discuss translating her books into German. She said, is that okay if we set that up? I flew to Germany, spoke at the conference, met the publisher, and now I have three books translated in German. I have Imagine Big, Declutter, and Pep Talk. Isn't that crazy? In fact, you should have heard my German translator. It was so funny because I you know, I have a soft-spoken voice and I would teach and then he'd go, rah, 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 rah. I was like, what? I did not say that. <laughs> it was awesome. Okay, number two. I remember writing on my vision board that I would like to make an impact in young women rescued from human trafficking. You know, I just want to help them make their dreams bigger than their memories. Well, I wasn't even sure how to do that. Like, where do you even start? but I wrote the vision down anyway. Well, not long after that, I was invited to speak at a conference in Dallas and the host said to me, hey, I work with a local safe house where girls have been rescued from human trafficking. Just out of nowhere, she said, would you ever wanna go with me sometime and just minister to these girls? I was like, what? I would be honored to. Next thing you know, I'm sitting at a kitchen table teaching these precious girls how to dream, how to make a vision board. And then they started making their vision boards. Oh my gosh, I loved when next time I went, they took me upstairs and I'm looking at their vision boards and their boards had things like getting their teeth fixed from being knocked out, getting their GED, getting their kids back, finding a good job. Talk about melting my heart. Well, now I invest my vision board course in safe houses across America. Is that a coincidence? Not one bit. You become what you behold. See, your life moves toward the dominating images that you keep in front of you. So that's why you have to put your vision board in a place that you're going to look at it consistently. In fact, another dream real quick. This isn't necessarily one that impacts others. It was just a desire of my heart. I put a photo of Greece with the gorgeous white buildings and the blue roofs. I didn't even know really where that was. I found out later it was Santorini. Well, I wrote on my vision board to go to Santorini, Greece for my 20th wedding anniversary. Well, for my 20th anniversary, my husband and I, we flew to Venice, Italy. We boarded a cruise ship that went all throughout Greece and it stopped at all these stunning cities in the Greek Isles. But get this, we just happened to stop in Santorini, Greece on September 20th, which is my exact wedding anniversary. That is not coincidental. (laughs) So I wanna give you three steps really quick to make your 2021 vision board. Oh, and real quick, let me tell you about the free gift before you make your vision board, a free gift that we're given this week with the new year approaching, I'm giving away my book, Dream It, Pen It, Live It, how to make vision boards work for you. And it's absolutely free this week. All I ask is that you subscribe to this channel by pushing the button below and you cover the shipping to help me get it to your home. But the book is my gift for the new year. So make sure you click the link to get your free book 
and get started today. So number one, get clear on what you want. Now, the moment you put your dreams in writing, here's my pencil, you have programmed it into your subconscious mind, or as I like to say, it's like programming the GPS in your car, and now you have a place to drive. See, your life has direction now, and it proves you're serious. In fact, the Wall Street Journal just recently reported that only 1% of people have their goals in writing. 1%. Entrepreneur Magazine wrote recently that 95% of the successful achievers that they've interviewed, they write their dreams and goals and their vision for success. So let me just say, don't make this difficult. In fact, you know, I met this lady, Angie, Um, I was ministering at a conference in Enid, Oklahoma, and Angie had been a graphic designer for a company for 13 years. Her title, she said, was graphic designer too. She said, I don't have room in my cubicle for a big old vision board, but she said, I began listening to your messages and I knew I needed to start writing my vision. Here's what she did. She said, I made a label with my dream that simply said lead graphic designer. She placed the label on her keyboard where it was in front of her eyes every day. She said she had taken a few few days off in July and when she got back to work, her manager said, "Um, call me when you get to your desk. She thought, oh my gosh, what went wrong? Well, when he called her into the office, he said, I just wanted to let you know that you have been promoted to lead graphic designer. She said, Terry, I never told anyone. I didn't ask my boss for it. I just had it in front of my eyes every day and God honored my vision. So don't make it difficult and don't be vague. Vague goals produce vague results. Don't just say, I want to lose weight. I want more money. I want to be successful. See, those are unclear. And your mind, your spirit, your faith doesn't even know what to work on. Okay, so be clear. Number two is display your destiny. See, the more you look at the images of your ideal future, the more you desire them. The more you desire them, the more persistent you become in going after them. So your vision board needs to be placed in a prominent place where you're gonna see it consistently. You know, that whole statement is true. Out of sight, out of mind, right? Remember too, this isn't about doing a fun little craft project. This is your visual reminder of where your life is headed. Got it? In fact, your vision for your future needs to be meditated on day and night. You know, that word meditate is defined as to think deeply or to focus your mind for a period of time, to engage in reflection. That word to reflect means to literally turn into. So think about that. You could say you are turning into the images you think deeply of, focus on, and engage in. Got it? You know, for me, it reminds me of, remember those old Polaroid cameras? You would focus the camera on a subject and an image is developed right before your eyes. The point being that whatever you focus on will eventually develop in your life. Does that make sense? Okay, number three is take action. You know, the Bible says that faith without action is dead. So I want you to know that I don't just look at a vision board and expect the law of attraction to bring my dream to me. No, I take action in the direction of those dreams. So you have to put legs to your dreams. And see, when you take action, God will open doors that you could never open on your own. You know, I like to think of those sliding doors, you know, like at the grocery store. And notice, as you're taking steps towards it, nothing happens and you get a little closer, nothing happens. But you keep taking steps in that direction and suddenly the doors open, right? Well, it's the same with your dreams. If you're believing to travel somewhere overseas, put the photos of where you wanna go on your vision board and then take action. Google hotels and airfare and find out how much it costs. Go ahead and get your passport. Go buy some luggage. You know, act as if you really are going on that trip. If you're believing to write a book and maybe you have a photo of your face on the cover of a book superimposed on your vision board, now it's time to take action. Start writing chapter one. Maybe you don't hear any publishers calling. Write chapter two, still nothing. Finish the book, get it ready. You know, John Wooden is the one who said when opportunity comes, it's too late to prepare. So you gotta get ready now for your dream. Are you believing for a new car? And maybe you put that car on your vision board with the price of it. 
then take action. How? Clean out the garage. Clean out the current car that you're driving. Act as if you're selling it any day. So I hope that helps you. Now I wanna give you a fourth bonus key today. It's the game changer. And let me explain it like this. In the Bible, there were two blind men who approached Jesus asking if he would give them their sight. Now I think it's interesting how Jesus put the responsibility back on them and he simply asked them one question. He said, do you believe I'm able to do this? Their response says it all. I want you to notice that without hesitation, they said, yes, Lord. Now think about that. Without questioning, without discussing, without trying to figure out how this could happen, they just believed. Then the Lord said in response to them, it shall be done to you according to your faith. One translation says, become what you believe. So when you get to a place in your life where you can imagine God asking you the same question, do you really believe that I can do this for you? And you respond without hesitation, yes, Lord. Then you are ready to achieve the impossible. So I believe God is saying to you today, become what you believe. If you can believe to live in that house, if you can believe to own that business or to weigh that amount or to vacation there or to see restoration in your marriage or get married, then become what you believe. So I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure before we leave that you get your free copy of my book, Dream It, Pen It, Live It. You just pay the shipping by clicking the link in the description and get started on your dreams today. And don't forget, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams. Hey YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to get more inspirational content, click one of these videos right here. And remember, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams.